not a time lapse. Just so much lightning is happening. Crazy. Dubai hasn't seen storms like this for 75 years. 12 months worth of rain falling in a single day. As the skies emptied, the streets filled. I literally have one meter of water in front of me. Floods in this usually arid region have become more frequent in recent years, but this is exceptional. Five inches of rain in 24 hours, 10 inches in some parts of the UAE, proving far too much for the concrete, hardened sand, and drainage systems designed for the desert to handle. Some, like influencer Annabelle Norton, had trouble even leaving their high-rise apartments. I kind of looked outside, but it just looked like really gray, really rainy. I went down to use my lift, and my lift had stopped working, and I'm on the 14th floor. So I was like, great. So I had to walk down 14 flights of stairs. Um, and then when I got to the bottom where the basement is where we park our cars, was deep in water. And I was like, it's gonna be a long day. As homes and roads were flooded and submerged vehicles left abandoned, tanker trucks were deployed to try and pump away the water. Air travel has been affected too, with the suspension of flights at Dubai International Airport, where every available safe berth for the grounded planes was occupied. This fortunate cat, lucky that there was a berth available in the police rescue boat. The human cost in the UAE is still unclear, with the country's hereditary rulers offering no overall damage or injury information. There are, however, unconfirmed reports of a man being killed. In neighbouring Amman, at least 19 people have died, including 10 schoolchildren and their teacher, who were in a vehicle swept away by raging floodwaters. The police and military using helicopters to reach and rescue those stranded by the muddy torrents after nine inches of rainfall in three days. Some have blamed the floods on the UAE's cloud seeding program, where chemicals are released into the atmosphere to promote rain. But scientists say it's almost certainly due to global warming, intensifying the normal climate systems. Meaning it may not be another 75 years before the region has to cope with another extreme weather event like this. Fraser Maud, Sky News.